motivated by pay, but I, this time I was motivated by showing people that a woman my age can still look good, feel good, be good, blah, blah, blah. Hi, I'm Martha Stewart, and I'm shooting in the Dominican Republic in this beautiful place for Sports Illustrated swimsuit. So far, so good, not too stressful. Getting dressed in 10 different bathing suit outfits can be a little exhausting. You know, I'd rather just put on one thing in the morning and wear it all day long and even out to dinner. So, a hundred. Yeah, I when I heard that I was going to be on the cover of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit, I thought, oh, well, that's pretty good. I'm going to be the oldest person, I think, ever on a, on a cover of Sports Illustrated. And I don't think about age very much, but I thought that this is kind of historic and that I better look really good. It's so much fun. Ruben Afanador is the best. I want other women, especially women, to feel that they could also be on the cover of Sports Illustrated with Issue. Taking the most beautiful photos ever. I love to travel. My favorite place to go is the place I haven't been yet. And my motto is when you're through changing, you're through. And another motto is learn something new every day. Ten wardrobe changes. It is absolutely inhuman of the Sports Illustrated team. Just joking. Thank you so much and welcome to the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit family. I know, my God. <laughs> Snoop is going to just think it is fantastic. Wow, 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 wow. That's 111 seconds, folks, that I don't know if my eyes are going to be able to see anymore. I mean, come on. Who wants to see an 81-year-old, anybody, on the cover of the Swimsuit Edition for Sports Illustrated? And this whole thing is leading in the fact that go woke, go broke. Sports Illustrated laid off its entire staff, folks. It's basically bankrupt. They don't even know if the magazine's going to be able to come back. It owes so much money. And as they said, they started putting on fat girls and chubby girls and, you know, girls with penises and, you know, transgender girls and burkinis and all this other crapola that no guy wants to freaking see. We want to see beautiful, skinny women. And beautiful one pieces, two pieces, and exotic places all over the world. That's what we want to see on a magazine. But no, who are they giving us to? Chicks with swinging things between their legs. Overweight, obese, morbidly obese. Listen, there's a place for that in a plus magazine, but not in a swimsuit magazine. I'm going to show you some pictures here. You just saw that thing with Martha Stewart. Come on now. That was just, I mean, that was eye gouging, folks. I mean, she looks good from the neck up. She does, I mean, but that's a whole bunch of makeup, probably some plastic surgery. Most of the pictures there were basically from above here and above. And with a bunch of clothing, you know, on top of it and big old floppy hats. And some dogs in between hiding all kinds of things because they knew. She had to get into freaking shape. That's just unfreaking believable. That's why they're going broke. Don't they understand what men want? We just want, you know what? When we see our sports, we want our cheerleaders to be looking pretty, to be dressed scantily. I mean, that's the whole idea. That's that's part of it. But there are people that like their significant others or other people, other genders, other the other opposite sex. They might want them a little bit plump, maybe a little plumper, fat, fatter. Who knows? But not posing for a lingerie magazine. Oh, that's, yeah, that's just incredible, folks. I want to go over that piece, 111 seconds, and point out just some of the absolute... BS of the remarks that were being made there. We're just going to go. So come on, folks. 
Before that, you're watching the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. I'm your host, Dr. Nasser, where I give you my political perspective from my my political prescription from my political perspective of what's happening. Now you say this isn't politics. Yes, it is, folks. It has everything to do with politics. Because they're taking what? They're taking the culture. They're taking social media. This was a culture. Sports Illustrated was the sports magazine for men and women like to like it and look at it too. That's what this magazine was about. Great articles. Great photos, and a once a year, a beautiful, beautiful edition with beautiful girls from all over the world, all different types, personalities, ethnicities, black, brown, white. I mean, they were all there from all over the world. And it made na household names of some of these girls, propelled them onto their you know, careers. Sit here, name a bunch of them, but don't have all the time in the world. But how oh, an 81-year-old. And like I said, it's if you got an 81-year-old that had an unbelievable freaking body still, they would have shown it, but they didn't show it to you. And what I'm saying about being political, well, what do you think went on over there? They went a liberal, a leftist, taking the woke mantra, virtue signaling, polishing their halos every single freaking day when they came to shoot. These guys went the way of Bud Light. Actually, Bud Light is still clinging on. You put a transgender as your, you put a man and not just a, you know, like a, a man, like Arnold Schwarzenegger or The Rock or one or the wrestlers, you know, I give me a big, big guy, muscle, just every pore of his muscles oozing on a can of beer. No, no, no. You decide to put a boy, a man with lipstick and fingernails the size of a highway and rouge and makeup and eyelashes and all that stuff, and fluttering his eyelashes like this, smiling in a girly suit, and you think that's going to be for traditional men. They're going to pick up that can, op pop open that thing, and down a couple of beers that way. You guys are absolutely nutso, and your bottom line is showing that as well. Anyways, folks, what I want to do is I want to go back over that video give you a little bit of reaction to it, and then read you from an article as to what's happening with Sports Illustrated. So stay with me. Let's sort of dive right in. Get it? Let's go to that clip right now. I'm motivated by pay, but I, this time I was motivated by showing people that a woman my age can still look good, feel good. Now, in this picture here, folks, she does look pretty good. I mean, she has a beautiful face. She's a striking woman from the cup, I would say, you know, but probably some surgery, lots of makeup and everything. But for 81, looking pretty good. Good, be good, blah, blah, blah. Hi, I'm Martha Stewart, and I'm shooting in the Dominican Republic in this beautiful place for Sports Illustrated swimsuit. No, take a look. Come on. Really? Really? That's what you want to show off? That's why they were hiding most of her body. This was like for a few seconds over here. Thunder thought, I mean, come on. So far, so good. Not too stressful. Getting dressed in 10 different- Again, see? Just from the top, covered up. Exhausting. In the water. You know, I'd rather just put on one thing in the morning and wear it all day. And here she is behind the sofa. Very long and even out to dinner. So it's a hundred. Now you got dogs in front of her and covered up with a shawl. When I heard that I was going to be on the cover of. Again, 
From the face up, yes, no problemos. Sports Illustrated swimsuit. I thought, oh, well, that's pretty good. I'm going to be the oldest person, I think, ever on a, on a cover of Sports Illustrated. And I don't think about age very much, but I thought that this is kind of historic and that I better look really good. It's so much fun. You really, really did it. The door is the best. I want other women, especially women, to feel that they could also be on the cover of Sports Illustrated. It Oh, come on now. That's just some BS, right? They're the only reason they picked you, Martha Stewart, first of all, 81, and you happen to be an icon. So yes, you can basically be out there. I want to motivate women so that they really, really, an average woman out there in America or somewhere around the world that's 81 years old, not unless she's absolutely beautiful and breathtaking and still has the curves, and nothing is sort of, you know, hanging down from North Pole to South Pole. I don't think so. That's just a bunch of BS there, MS. BS from MS. Taking the most beautiful photos ever. Oh, that's got to be just some stupid stuff there. These are the most beautiful photos ever? Ever? Kathy Ireland? Better than Kathy Ireland? Really? Paulina Poroskova? Better than Paulina Poroskova? Really? <laughs> I mean, are you really asking us to believe that? That's just unbelievable. I'll give her some props. They're hiding her, they're hiding her well in this one here. You know, other time pictures there, they show cleavage. She's in a some big uh, sombrero with a towel or something wrapped around her, hiding most of her. I'll give her some credit, okay. But not, you know, not being the staple of the I would want this to be the center spread. I love to travel. My favorite place to go is the place I haven't been yet. And my motto is, when you're through changing, you're through. And another motto is, learn something new every day. Ten wardrobe changes. It is absolutely inhuman of the Sports Illustrated team. Just joking. Would they have to have her bent over backward to make sure that everything that was going south didn't go forever south? Is that was the reason here for that? Oh, come on now. This is unbelievable. Anyways, I want to take you that article. We're going to go with that right now. So here's the reason, folks. This is the reason why Sports Illustrated is going broke. They laid off the entire freaking staff. Because why? This is probably, I mean, if I didn't think so, I would think that somebody took a face and Photoshopped this. I don't think this is Photoshopped. I think this is, I mean, they did this. They took plus, plus, plus size girls and took photos of them and thought that this is what men want to see. Oh, no, it is not. No, no. This is what we want to see, guys. No, it isn't. No way, Jose. No, this is no comprende for us. So here it is. The owner of Sports Illusion ended the employment of the publication's entire staff leaving the very existence of the nearly 70-year-old magazine in doubt. The licensing group that owns the sports mag has terminated its agreement with the Arena Group to continue publishing the magazine three weeks after Arena missed a $2.8 million payment, a deficit, it says, that breached the magazine licensing deal, according to Front Office Sports. Authentic bought SI out, SI out from Meredith in 2019 for $10 million. If it continues publishing, the magazine will turn 70 years old this August. An email announcing a decision says in part, we were notified by Authentic Brands Group that the license under which the Arena Group operates a Sports Illustrated SI brand, SI related properties have been officially revoked. As a result of this license revocation, we will be laying off staff that work on the SI brand. Some employees are going to be terminated immediately and paid in lieu of applicable notice period under the union contract. Employees with a 
last working day of today will be contacted by the people team soon. Other employees will be expected to, wor to work through the end of the notice period and receive additional information shortly. It goes on to say that the union representing sports service employees respond by demanding the arena continue publishing magazine. Oh, you have to keep publishing even though you're losing money because we're the union. And if you go under, who's going to pay us? And they said, the union says, we have fought together as a union to maintain the standard of this storied publication. The standard? What standard are the hell are you talking about? You put women with things swinging between their legs in a mag. You put men in bikinis. You put women and tried to put three, 400 pound women into clothing that would fit a 100 pound woman. So the union goes, we fought together as a union to maintain the standard of the story publication that we love to make sure that our workers are treated fairly for the value that they bring to this company. It is a fight we will continue, wrote Mitch Goldlich. NFL editor and unit chair, NFL, the No Fun League. Nice. Follow those guys. The only thing that they're still, the reason NFL still around is because they're at least still putting some semblance of a manly product. And even that's debatable, but it's out there. Let the, if the NFL starts doing stuff like this, folks, it'll be by the wayside too. According to insiders, Authentic has been reaching out to its various publications to discuss new plans going forward after Manaj Bargayaba, the founder of Five Hour Energy, took over the leadership of the publication licensing company. It's not known if Authentic intends to take over Sports Illustrated and eliminate Arena or allow Arena to try to renegotiate its deal. I'm sure someone's going to go in and swoop in. But the people that go in, if they're woke, just like these other idiot morons, retards, and stupidios, that is going to be money going down the collective lagoon drain, basically, folks. If they continue to be woke, nothing is going to save this magazine. It does appear that thing has been unhappy with the chaotic operations of the sports magazine, which has gone multiple, which has undergone multiple leadership changes, rounds of layoffs, eliminating top staffers and bouts with troubled articles written by AI, as well as emphasis on plus size and transgender legend, uh, uh, you know, models in the legendary sports or swimsuit. Here's another, this, do we want to see this black or white? Red, green, yeah, no, we don't want this is not what we want to see. Come on. Arena said it also fired a thousand employees through its organization. These layoffs were instituted by Arena executives, its board of directors, and FTI consulting. And FT, and I guess he basically says, my immediate focus is to collaboratively design a growth-oriented media company and serve the financial stability necessary to cultivate and grow the brands we cherish. While this week's layoffs were regrettably necessary, I look forward to sharing detailed plans soon. To me, that's just gobbledygook that basically says they're going to try to find some investors that are stupid enough to put up some money and basically maybe wine and dine them with really beautiful looking girls, but those girls will be nowhere to be seen. They're going to show more 80 and 90 year olds and men with things between their legs swinging back and forth and transgender models and plus size models and obese size models and men in bikinis. That's what they're going to try to sell to us, folks. Anyways, we appreciate you taking the time to watch. You've been watching the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. I've been your host. My name is Dr. Nasser. If you haven't done so already, we'd love for you to subscribe to the channel, like, share, and follow us. Let us know what you think. Check out our other videos here and below. Put your comments down below. I expect to see a lot of them about this. What do you think? Go woke, go broke with Sports Illustrated? Or did you like the direction they were going in? My final thought, when you're right, you're right. And when you're left, you're wrong. Until next time, folks, take care and stay safe.